Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be talking about the $3.5 billion dollar investment in the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project. This project is a massive undertaking that will have significant implications for the region's economic growth and geopolitical power. The China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project is a 988-kilometer railway line that will connect China's Xinjiang province with Uzbekistan via Kyrgyzstan. The project is expected to take around five years to complete and will be funded by a $3.5 billion investment from the Chinese government. The railway line will start in Kashgar, a city in Xinjiang province in China, and will go through Kyrgyzstan's capital, Bishkek, before reaching Uzbekistan's capital, Tashkent. The railway line will provide a direct connection between China and Central Asia, bypassing Russia and potentially giving China greater geopolitical influence in the region. Currently, the most common way to transport goods between China and Central Asia is through through Russia, which makes it more expensive and slower. With the completion of this railway project, China will have a direct and more efficient route to the region. The project is also expected to boost trade between China and the region, as well as create new economic opportunities for local communities. According to Chinese officials, the railway line could eventually transport up to 12 million tons of cargo per year. The project is also expected to create jobs in the region during the construction phase, as well as in logistics, transportation, and related industries once the railway line is operational. In addition to boosting trade and creating jobs, the railway line could also have important strategic implications. As China seeks to expand its influence in Central Asia, the railway line could give China greater access to the region's natural resources, such as oil, gas, and minerals. This could help China meet its growing energy needs and diversify its sources of raw materials. However, the project is not without its challenges. The railway line will pass through mountainous terrain, which could make construction difficult and expensive. There are also concerns about the environmental impact of the railway line, particularly in sensitive ecosystems such as the Tain Shan Mountains. If we look at the broader picture, this railway line is part of China's larger Belt and Road Initiative, which is a global infrastructure development strategy adopted by the Chinese government. The BRI aims to connect Asia, Europe, and Africa through a network of infrastructure projects, including railways, highways, ports, and pipelines. This railway project is a significant step towards achieving China's goal of strengthening its economic and political ties with Central Asia. By improving connectivity with this region, China is seeking to tap into its rich natural resources, such as oil, gas, and minerals, as well as create new markets for its products and services. This could potentially shift the balance of power in the region towards China and away from Russia, which has traditionally been the dominant player in Central Asia. However, the BRI has also faced criticism and concerns from some countries and analysts. Some argue that the BRI is a way for China to extend its geopolitical influence and export its excess capacity, rather than being a purely economic initiative. There are also concerns about the financial sustainability of some BRI projects, as well as their environmental impact. Another aspect worth discussing is the potential impact of this railway project on the local communities and environments. The construction and operation of this railway line will undoubtedly have an impact on the people and natural resources in the region. While the railway line is expected to create new job opportunities, particularly in logistics, transportation, and related industries, there are concerns about the social and environmental impacts of the project. The railway line will pass through ecologically sensitive areas, including the Tain Shan Mountains, which are home to many endangered species. The construction of the railway line could damage these fragile ecosystems and threaten the livelihoods of the people who depend on them. There are also concerns about the potential displacement of local communities and the disruption of their way of life. The railway line will pass through many small towns and villages, and some residents may be forced to relocate to make way for the construction of the railway line. To mitigate these impacts, it will be important for the Chinese government and the companies involved in the project to consult with local communities, assess the environmental impact of the project, and develop appropriate mitigation measures. Lastly, it is important to consider the potential implications of this railway project on the broader global economy and international relations. The railway line is expected to significantly increase China's trade with Central Asia, potentially shifting the balance of power in the region. As China seeks to expand its influence in the region, it could potentially come into conflict with other regional powers, such as Russia and India, which also have economic and strategic interests in Central Asia. Moreover, the railway line is part of China's broader efforts to expand its global influence through the Belt and Road Initiative. 
This initiative has already led to significant Chinese investments in infrastructure projects around the world, raising concerns in some countries about China's geopolitical ambitions. Furthermore, the railway line could potentially impact the global shipping industry, as it could offer a faster and cheaper alternative to shipping goods between China and Central Asia than using sea routes. This could potentially have significant implications for global trade patterns and shipping companies. Finally, it is worth noting that the success of the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project will depend on a variety of factors, including the political stability of the region, the efficiency of the railway line, and the demand for goods and services between China and Central Asia. Moreover, the railway line is just one of many infrastructure projects that China is undertaking as part of its Belt and Road Initiative. The success of this initiative will depend on China's ability to finance and complete these projects, as well as the willingness of other countries to participate. Also, it's important to note that the success of this railway project is not just dependent on the completion of the infrastructure itself, but also on the broader policies and regulatory frameworks put in place by the governments involved. This includes policies around trade, investment, and transportation, as well as regulations around environmental protection and social impact. It's important for these policies and regulations to be well designed and enforced in order to maximize the benefits of the railway project and minimize its negative impacts. In addition, it's important for the governments involved to prioritize transparency and accountability in the project's planning and implementation. This can help to build trust among local communities, investors, and other stakeholders and ensure that the project is being carried out in an ethical and sustainable manner. Finally, it's worth noting that the completion of the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project is just one of many developments that are reshaping the global economic and geopolitical landscape. As countries around the world compete for resources and influence, infrastructure projects like this one are becoming increasingly important. Moreover, the success of this project will depend on the ability of the governments and companies involved to navigate complex geopolitical and economic challenges. This includes factors such as trade disputes, political instability, and changes in global demand. In this context, it's important for policymakers, investors, and other stakeholders to carefully monitor the progress of the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project and other similar initiatives, and to work together to ensure that these projects are carried out in a responsible and sustainable manner. One more important point to consider is the potential impact of the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project on the existing infrastructure in the region. The project will be competing with existing transportation routes, such as highways and air transport, which may result in some shifts in the demand for these modes of transportation. In addition, the railway line could have an impact on the development of other infrastructure projects in the region, as investors and governments may shift their priorities towards the railway project, potentially leading to a slowdown in the development of other infrastructure projects. Therefore, it's important to consider the potential trade-offs and impacts of this railway project on the broader infrastructure landscape in the region, and to ensure that these trade-offs are taken into account in the planning and implementation of the project. Lastly, it is worth noting that the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project is not just a transportation infrastructure project, but also has significant implications for digital connectivity in the region. The railway project is expected to facilitate the development of digital infrastructure and e-commerce in the region, as it will provide a more efficient and cost-effective way to transport goods and services. This could help to reduce trade barriers, increase competition, and promote economic growth and innovation in the region. Moreover, the railway project could also facilitate the development of cross-border digital connectivity between China and Central Asia. This could help to strengthen ties between the two regions and promote greater cooperation in areas such as education, research, and technology transfer. In conclusion, the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan railway project has the potential to impact not just transportation and logistics, but also digital connectivity and innovation in the region. It will be important to monitor these developments and assess their potential implications for the broader economy and society in the region and beyond. Thank you for watching.